and she was going to do it with her son, but she couldn't do it anymore. So she um, basically took her son's spot in the hotel and everything, and she just paying for everything. So I, I was very skeptical of coming here because uh, I, I have a lot of work. But since I just did the filing of the motion for preliminary injunction, we're just now in a waiting game. You're sitting waiting for the government to reply. So um, I, I took my chances because it is very important for me also to make a connection with Ecuador and with the people in Europe because I am aware that uh, there are more targeted people in Europe than even in the United States. This could be um, they are lost. We know they are lost. to join the community, so, you know, Ecuador invited Absolutely. me, paid for my trip here. I yeah, want to, to make come it together and, uh, to work together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to, uh, to join forces and to share knowledge so that we can defeat this monster that I think that 2023 will be the year that will be free. Hopefully. <laughs> We all hope that there yeah, are many people are waiting for too long and, and waiting so for much. such a long time and suffering all the time, all this torture. This must come to an end and better now than, than tomorrow. Yeah. And I believe so that important. if we're not together, if, if all the TI organized groups don't come together, it'll be a little harder. I think it's important to get the message out because when we prevail in the United States, it, it will have repercussions here, but it is important that the entire world knows that the torture goes on everywhere. And some people attribute it to causes that are not, you know, the pains and stuff. Oh, it's old age. No, it's not. Uh, oh, it's fibromyalgia. No, it's not. It is microwave. You are being microwaved. And these are the symptoms, and this is how it happens. Um, and, and that awareness. So you think many people are not aware that they are TIs? They don't know about it? I, I didn't know I was being microwaved. I had no idea that I was being, I thought it was, I didn't even know what it was. Uh, uh, oh yeah, for example, uh, this here, I went to a rheumatologist and I said, what is this? And he says, oh, that's arthritis. You're getting old. I'm uh, like, no, I'm not getting old. I'm, I'm in shape. I exercise. I eat well. I maintain my alkaline. You know, I'm not, my body's alkalinity is low, you know, it's not as low acidic. And, uh, and I just didn't make sense. All, all the changes that my body was undergoing. Well, I was being microwave to death, and I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. Because you don't recognize it because you didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. and, and so now, you know, creating this awareness of what being microwave feels like, it, it's a difference.